What's wrong? Is it Michaela? No, it's Carl. He's cheating. That son of a bitch is cheating. Oh my god, where are you? I'm in my car. Somewhere, driving. Just driving. Come to my place now. You probably shouldn't be driving in the state that you're in. Okay, just call Melanie. I could really use both of you right now. Absolutely, anything you need. Why did he do this to me? I mean, what did I do? Nothing. You did nothing. This is about him. I gave up my career for him and for our family, and this is how he repays me? How long has this been going on? When did it start? Have I always been this blind? You weren't blind. You believed him when he said you were the only one. He loved you and only you. How did you find out? A few weeks ago, uh, I knew something had changed. You had fun at school today? Uh-huh. Hey, Mom, how's this? Good. That's really good. How are my lovely ladies? Hey, Daddy. Hey. How was your day? Oh, uh, it is uh, still going. Oh, sorry. This will be ready in about 10 minutes. Oh, uh, okay. Want to see my homework? Uh, right after this, okay? Hello? Did you say goodnight to Michaela? Hmm? Yeah. Did you read to her? I thought you wanted to. I said one of us should read to her. I was hoping it would be you. I'm sorry, I work. Yeah. I uh, liked it better when you were more engaged with us. I'm ready. After she falls asleep, uh, I'd like to talk to you. Okay. I'm sorry about last night. I was just exhausted. I know you wanted to talk. Mm -hmm. it seems like you got some sleep. I did. I did. So I was thinking we could. No, Michaela's okay, already up. Come on, there's a lock on the door. No. I apologize for last night. It's more than that. You're just not here anymore. You're right. I just gotta get through the next few months. I can't even get away for lunch these days. Look, a couple of weeks, I promise, and things will get back to normal. And I was thinking we could go on a trip to Bora Bora, or Fiji, Aruba. Yes, to all three. You see? This is me engaging. That got to me. And then I found something weird, and that made me really suspicious. Okay, so you got a 10% coupon on a hotel. That he and I had never stayed at together. Carl Blanchard's office. Hey, it's Jackie. Is Carl there? I'm sorry, Mrs. Blanchard. He's at lunch. I thought he told me he would be working through lunch. No, this has been on his calendar for a while. You want me to let him know you called? No, I'll just call his cell. Okay, have a good one. So what did you do? Did you call? No. The next day I decided to go to his office and follow him.
she? Why her? Doesn't matter. What do you want to do? She's going to leave him and take him for everything he has. Is that what you want? We'll support you, whatever you want to do. God, he's been a part of my life for 15 years. We have a daughter together. You can't just let him get away with this. When the Orsons backed out of the Miranda property, you think I just shrugged my shoulders and said, oh, well? No, I went after them. That is a real estate deal. Yes, and this is more personal. No, I'm going to confront him. And I'm going to let him know that I found out. Why bother? He's just going to lie. Like he's been lying to you this whole time. It's better if he doesn't know you're on to him. It gives you time to plan. Mm. Plan? Line up a divorce attorney, mm. gather evidence, make sure you know where the money is. A lot of guys will hide the money if they think you're coming after them. I can't believe this. I don't think I have ever felt so angry. You know, a client of mine was telling me about this woman who provides a certain type of service. She referred to her as the mistress hunter. I thought she was just some suburban legend. Apparently not. What exactly does she do? She helps women in your situation. Helps how? Revenge. Like CIA-style torture. I mean, that's what I heard. No, nothing like that. She fixes things. Makes things right again, if that's what you want. Sounds sketchy. My friend said she's the real deal. So you want me to talk to her, see if we can track her down? I, I need time to think about it. This is still all very overwhelming. Okay, whatever you decide, you can't tell Carl. Not until you have all this stuff figured out. Just act like everything is normal. Kids are doing it. Whoa! You know what? I give up. You win. Oh, hey. Where you been? Just running some errands. How was your day? I was busy, but good. Well, at least you got out for lunch. I called and you weren't there. Oh, right, yeah, I, uh, I had a client come in from out of town. You know, I built this guy's portfolio by nearly 12% every year, and he still wants to evaluate our relationship. Can you believe that? You're just that good. Yeah, what'd you want? I'm sorry? The call. You said you call. Oh, yeah, I, um, I was just in the area. I was going to bring you some lunch. I'm just so happy to hear that you weren't stuck behind your desk the whole day. You know, they've done studies about how unhealthy that is. Well, you know what? I'll take more lunches. Speaking of food, have you had any thoughts on dinner? Uh, honestly, no. Oh, well, maybe I'll go and grab something from Jolly Johnny's. Can I come too? Please, please, please. Absolutely, you'll always be my favorite co-pilot. Yes! Do you just want the usual? Sure. Okay. You okay? Yeah, just one of those days. Maybe when I get back, we can have a little massage. Maybe. Okay. Come on. Hey, you awake? I'm just, I'm tired. I can make you relax. Trust me. <laughs> hey, are you okay? Get out. Can I get you something? Get out!
Ugh, we are never eating from that place again. Is that all you have to say? <laughs> Don't you think maybe you should apologize? Excuse me? I just went in there to help you, and you just were ugly. I don't think I deserve that. You don't? An apology, maybe. Sorry. Maybe I was a little harsh. You caught me at a bad moment. <laughs> I accept your apology. Thank you. That's the fourth time you've hit the snooze. You still feeling sick? Not feeling great. All right, well, I'll take Michaela to school. If you need me to pick her up later, you let me know, okay? I should be fine. Feel better. Hello? Hey, Val, it's me. I think I want to meet the Mistress Hunter. Blanchard. I don't know you. My friend Valerie gave me your information. And I don't know Valerie. I know. I I just found out that my husband was cheating and she thought maybe you could help. How could I do that? I don't know. That's why I'm here. I am lost. I've been completely blindsided. I gave him no reason to betray me, so I, I guess I'm just looking for anything if nothing more than just a little guidance. Uh. Around the corner and to the left. First door on the right. Jackie Blanchard. Hannah Armington. Sorry for the Wizard of Oz routine, but from time to time I get an interloper and it always seems to do the job of running them off. Plus I kind of get a kick out of it. So, you married a son of a bitch? Uh, yes. I'm sorry, I haven't offered you anything. Coffee, tea, wine, a shot of tequila? Uh, I haven't drunk tequila since spring break 02. So that's a no on the drink? I'm fine. Okay, let's get down to business then. Does your husband know that you know? No. This friend had referred you. What did she tell you I could do for you? Uh, she was a bit vague. She said that you could help make things right. That you were the mistress hunter. Ugh, I hate that name. It's not like I kill people. Why not a fair doctor or cheating specialist? Instead, they always have to use the dangerous one. Okay, this is what I do if you decide to hire me. I'll make your husband's life a living hell. The mistress is too. Good. But not like torture or anything, right? Oh no, not in the physical sense anyway. I'll just destroy their little love nest and give you all the evidence you need. We call this option one. I'll make him miserable and get you enough evidence to destroy him in court. That sounds good. Uh is there an option too? Mm. The romantic in me always hopes for this. I'll tear them apart and at the same time deliver Carl right back into your arms. Happy ending. Yeah, no, one. I want to do one. How fresh is this wound? Um, I've suspected for a while, but I confirmed the affair just a few days ago. That's pretty fresh. 
Are you sure you don't want to take a day or a week to think about this? I mean, after some time, option two might start to grow on you. No, I have the cash. Um, $2,000 on the commencement of services, and then another $2,000 after you get the goods on Carl. That's what I was told. Is that right? Well, okay then. Option one. And I'll take that shot of tequila now. How did you get into this line of work? A few years back, I discovered that my first husband was cheating on me. So I looked under every one of his dirty little rocks until I exposed every one of his dirty little secrets. And it felt so good. Hell, I thought, girl, you should be doing this for a living. Self-taught. Very much so. And you will be too, once this is over. What do you mean? I can't do this alone. I'm gonna need you to help me. Oh. It's no big deal. I just need you to look through your husband's things. See if there's anything you don't recognize. Credit card, gym bag with a change of clothes, a set of keys, another cell phone. I am paying you to spy on him. I skate the line of what's legal and not legal. If there are certain steps that a wife can perform instead of me, it's preferable. Okay, fine. And if you used a GPS to get here, I'm gonna need you to delete it. If your husband gets a whiff that someone's onto him, he's gonna suspect you. So cover your tracks. Okay, that makes sense, will do. And don't come back here. How am I supposed to get in touch with you? You don't. I'll find you. Now one last thing before I let you through those doors. I want you to take one more second to reconsider option number two. Or consider going to a divorce attorney. Because what we're about to do can get a little dangerous. Revenge is like the blinding of two graves or it digs out both eyes. Something like that. I just want him to regret ever even thinking about cheating on me. I want you to get him. Well, get him, you know, not like get him, get him. I know what you meant. Okay, that one was perfect. One more time. How about one more? Okay. Nice. Hey. Did you get anything for dinner? I have frozen lasagna. Oh. What's that? I thought I'd surprise you and get you some Stamper's chicken soup. You drove all the way there? Yeah, of course. Anything for you. Uh, thank you. I'm just actually feeling a lot better. I'll save it for lunch tomorrow. Okay. All right, what do you got? Hey, Val. Well, someone's definitely sounding better. Yeah, feeling that way too. So, you went to see the mistress, Hunter? Tell me everything. I have to admit, when I first got to that place, it was kind of creepy. I actually thought I was going to get murdered. But I met that woman, Hannah, and she seemed great. So you hired her? I did. And what's she going to do? She really didn't get into any of the specifics. Who's that? Valerie. Oh, tell her hi. Carl says hi. Tell him to go to hell. Val sends her love. I've got to make dinner. Keep me posted. Jackie, what is going on? Michaela's thirsty. I'm just going to get her some water. Shouldn't she be old enough to get her own water? Yeah, I know. Kids. Okay. Why don't you go get some water? I thought you were going to help. I'll be right there. 
about your marriage. So you want to help? Uh, yes, of course. Mind anything last night? No, nothing. Not in his car, not in his wallet. If he's keeping any incriminating evidence at the house, I have no idea where he's dashed it. <laughs> he's a smart one. Most likely there's something in his office. Or maybe he rents a side place. So I don't have to do any more? No. For now. And this is gonna be a regular thing every time we need to talk? Which one of the parks? I used to love playing dress up as a kid. Have a nice day, huh? Haven't told me where you're taking me. I told you I got a couple of surprises for you. I can't wait. <laughs> What do you say we get outside and go to the park? Let's enjoy the sun while it's still out. Thank you. Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. I've still got one more surprise. What is it? Open it. <sighs> oh, you dog. Oh, 
You like it? I love it. <laughs> oh, then let's see it on. I'm never taking it off. Mm. Well, how about you just wear it when you're with me? For me. Mm. Mm. I have something for you, too. You don't have to. No, I've been thinking about it, and it's perfect. You travel so much for work, and I... I think you should stay here when you're in town. <laughs> You're not saying anything. I love it. <laughs> I wish Dad were here. I know. I know. Hey, has your dad ever taken you to a place that you didn't like? A place that made you feel uncomfortable? Does the dentist count? <laughs> no. Maybe a place where he asked you to keep a secret, just you and him. That's silly, Mom. We will never keep a secret from you. I know. Nothing. You don't forget I even asked. Cute kid. Sorry. What are you doing here? How did you find me? Are, are you tailing me too? No, I was driving to your house and I passed by and I saw you here. Look, it's a weird time, I get it. So? How much detail do you want? Sitting here in public? None. Okay, to get the ball rolling, I put a little surprise in your husband's suit pocket. He may find it when he gets home. Should I know what that is? Just a pebble in the still waters of their relationship. Now, now the main reason I'm here, there are things I'm going to need. Some paperwork. From his office, from his business. That's what I'm paying you for. I told you I might have to lean on you. That's not leaning, that's pushing. Look, you have much better access to everything than I do. All I need you to do is take your husband's key, go to his office, Download those docs onto this. What about the camera? He switched wallets at the office. I need photos, front and back, of the credit card. What if I get caught? You're a wife who's doing a favor for her sick husband, or a wife who found out that her husband is a bastard and is collecting enough evidence against him, whatever excuse you want to use. Me? A stranger? It wouldn't be that simple. How will I get this to you? I'll find you. Wait. Is he in love with her? Whether it's a yes or no, does either answer make any of this any better? Does she know about me? Sort of. He told her he's separated, filing for a divorce. He calls you Sandy, by the way. Sandy. That was our damn dog from ten years ago. He didn't mention Michaela, so she doesn't know about her. I don't want to hear anymore. I'm sorry, Jackie. I'll be in touch. Who is that, Mom? Um, it was just a woman who needed an address. But we have to go. You have a paper to write. Five more minutes. Five more minutes. Honey? Valerie wants to grab a drink. Some real estate deal fell through and she wants to vent. 
Okay, so you're heading out? Yeah, I'll be back later. Okay, well, have fun. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm just catching my breath from the day. Everything good with you? Yeah, why wouldn't it be? Just asking how your day was. So do you mind watching Michaela and putting her to bed? Uh, no, not at all. Beth. Hello? Beth, it's Carl. Carl, hang on, let me get some place where I can hear you. Hey, are you still there? I'm here. Oh, I, I didn't recognize the number. It's the number at the hotel I'm staying. Oh, I'm so happy to hear from you. I, I thought you were traveling. Yeah, I had to call. Oh, I want to hear my voice. No, I found your little surprise. My, my surprise? Yeah, your surprise in the breast pocket of my suit. You could have got me in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I honestly have no idea what you're talking about. Never mind. No, it sounds like you're accusing me of something. I want to know what it is. Carl, are you still there? I'm here. I'm sorry if I came across as harsh. I, I was trying to be playful. All the travel must be catching up with me. All right, take your vitamins. I don't want you sick the next time I see you. Yeah, I will do. A regular traveling circus. Have to be. How'd it go? Great. I got everything. That's great. That's great. And it went smoothly? No issues? No, nothing. What's this? The next step. He got this for her? Afraid so. 
You stole it? Well, technically, half is yours. Oh, God, it looks expensive. It is. Do you want to know how much? No. Yes. No. So we have this. What now? The fun really begins. Tomorrow night, when he gets home from work, this is what I want you to do. Jackie, Michaela. Whoa. <sighs> What's all this? You surprised me, so I'm surprising you. Surprised you? Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. I found your little gift. I love it. You found it? <laughs> yeah, is that a question? Uh -huh. It was right where you hid it, under my pillow. I had Melanie pick up Michaela from school. Now she's gonna spend the night with her, so we have the house to ourselves. Right. You look stunned. No, no, I'm not stunned. I just, uh, I just wasn't expecting this reaction. You know, usually don't want jewelry, so. I know, but when I found it this morning, it just made me smile. <laughs> to think that you still care after all these years. Besides, I really don't have that many things to pass down to Michaela when she's older, and this is perfect. Oh, I'm just glad that you like it. I love it. you yeah my my plans changed I thought you were only gonna be in town two days this week um, have you had breakfast no I can make you something no where's your necklace I um look I the class broke and I had to take it to get fixed I'm sorry I didn't want to tell you did you get a receipt I don't think so What's the big deal? What if they lose it? <laughs> they won't. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe you didn't take it to get fixed. What? I think maybe you're lying to me. First about the panties, now about this. The panties? What? Why are you doing this? Why are you messing with my life? Your life? What are you talking about? Look, I lost it, okay? I lost the necklace or it was stolen. The nicest gift that anyone's ever given to me, okay? I don't know what's happening. I've torn this place apart looking for it. All I know is that I just, I can't have you mad at me. Because I love you. <laughs> there, I've said it, I love you. So I wouldn't mess with your life. Well, love makes people do crazy things. Okay, well, I didn't do anything crazy. Please, just tell me that you believe me. I do. I do believe you. I gotta go to work. Well, when am I gonna see you again? I'll let you know. Carl! Ah, oh, great. Just great. Yeah, I heard you. I'll call him back. This is the third time he's called. I said I'll call him back.
Bella Mobile Nail Service. Can I help you? Do you have any openings today? Oh, sure. Today? Yep. Yeah, what's your address? I'm out in Valencia. One Oh, hello there. Hi. Come on in. Oh, thank you. I thought we could get you set up in the kitchen. Oh, yeah, sure. Why don't you follow me? Right over there. You have a lovely home. Thank you. My husband and I have lived here for years. Can I get you something? Coffee, water, tea? Uh, yeah, water would be nice. Thank you. We moved in right after we were married. Oh, yeah? When was that? Oh, six. Gosh, has it been that long? <laughs> well, not always perfect, but we make it work. Yeah, well, what marriage is, right? <laughs> what was that? Uh, what marriage is. Perfect, that is. I mean, you found someone to spend your life with. You're one of the lucky ones, right? You must have someone in your life, a beautiful woman like you. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I do, but... What? Uh, uh, we just got into this thing this morning, you know? Well, if he's not the one, then I'm sure eventually you'll find Mr. Wright. The one thing that's really helped us work at our marriage is our daughter, Michaela. Oh, how old? Eight. Oh. That's her right there. Michaela with my husband, Carl. I'm sorry. It's fine. You okay? You don't look so good. I have to go. We just started. I know. I'm really not going to be able to recommend your services. Yeah, I completely understand. I can't believe she was in your house. I feel like I have a pretty good poker face, but that's a whole nother level. It was exhilarating. And in the moment, it felt so, so good. But... Well, then I saw the pain in her eyes, and I was wondering if I was doing the right thing. She does not deserve your sympathy. She knows she's sleeping with a married man. Screw her. Yeah, but don't forget, Carl lied about being separated from his wife. I mean, she's kind of a victim in this, too. Boo-hoo. A victim with a lot of bling. We should see the gift he got her. Wow. <sighs> May I? <laughs> he got her this? Then how do you have it? The Mistress Hunter. She stole it? Mm, technically, I own half. You know what? I don't want to know anymore. I don't like the sound of any of this. Melanie. <sighs> Melanie. This whole thing is making you not you. And I just don't want to see that. Please. Look, you know I'll always be there for you and Michaela, but this is wrong, what you and this Mistress Hunter are doing. I'm flying out to see my sister tonight. I'll just call you later. Some people are just so squeamish. You don't think I'm doing the wrong thing? He put you in this situation. If he would have never cheated on you, you wouldn't even be asking yourself that question. You're doing what you have to do. Thanks for putting her down. You didn't have to. No, I, I did. And uh, I, I plan on doing it more. Is everything all right? Uh, no. Not at all. Listen. I've got something to tell you, and you might... You're not going to take it well. What is it? 
I've been unfaithful to you. I, I broke my word to you and to Michaela. I wish I had a better explanation for why I've done what I've done, but I don't. All I can say is that I'm sorry. Just please leave. No, listen, listen. I want you to know that it's over. It's all over. I, there is nothing more important to me than you and Michaela, and I will do whatever I have to to keep us a family. Please. I love you. <gasps> I said leave. You can't Just you. get out! Where's Dad? Uh, he had to get in early. I heard you two yelling last night. Oh. Your father and I just had a little fight. All mommies and daddies do. So he's not here? No. Did he not sleep here last night? Is he not going to live here anymore? Honey, it's way too early to say. Just know whatever happens. We love you very, very much. Beth. Beth. Carl? What are you doing back there? I don't want you here! You have a child! Get out! Get out! Get out now! Who is it? Uh, police department, ma'am. Do you have some ID? Sure. I'm Detective Williams. This is Blancher? Yes. Your husband is Carl Blancher. Yes? What is it? What's wrong? There's no good way to say this. He's dead, Miss Blancher. He was killed earlier this evening. I'm sorry. Wait, this, this doesn't make any sense. We do have some questions for you. Can you just give me a minute? How 
was he killed? Stabbed. Multiple times. Huh? Do you know by who? It was a woman. Do you know a uh, Beth Robinson? No. Well, do you know of any reason why your husband would have been in her apartment? Well, if I don't know her, why would I know the reason he'd be there? I'm sorry. That was rude. It's, uh, this is just a lot to take in. Mommy? <sighs> What are you doing up? Who are those people? Um, they're just friends. Why don't you go back up to bed, and after they leave, I'll come see you, okay? Okay. She loves him so much, I... I'm just having a really hard time comprehending all of this. We think it was a lover's quarrel. That your husband had gone there to end the relationship with her. After she killed him, it appears she took her own life. Did you know that he was having an affair? He told me last night. The last thing he said to me was that there was nothing more important to him than me and our daughter. Nothing. And that he was going to end it. You need another minute? Well, before last night, did you have any inclination that your husband might be having an affair? I mean, he wasn't acting himself. His behavior was a little erratic, but no. And he loved you very much. And he'll always be a part of you, okay? Do you understand? He's dead, Val. He's dead. What? I... I did this. He's dead, and it's all because of me. Honey, you, you're not making any sense. No, it's that damn Mistress Hunter. She pitted them against each other. They fought, and she killed him. The Mistress Hunter? No. The Mistress. Beth. Carl is dead, and it's all my fault. Breathe, honey. I'm on my way. Is this all still playing for you? What do you mean? Something doesn't feel right to me. Detectives. Got something for you. Someone cleaned up. So she killed him, then tried to clean up, realized it was futile, then killed herself? That doesn't make sense. Look at this. Shoe print. Did you check the victim's shoes? Yeah. No blood, and the outline of this print doesn't appear to match her shoe either. So she changed her shoes, then tossed the bloody ones? Or somebody else was here. Detectives. Expecting someone else? My friend Valerie. We have a few more questions, if you have a minute. Sure. Just for our records, where were you last night? I was here at the house with my daughter, Michaela. We had dinner, and I put her down around 8. And she'd be able to confirm that? Of course. What about from 8 on? I don't understand why you're asking me this. What does it matter where I was or where my daughter was? That woman, Beth, did this. You told me that. That was our original assessment. Now it appears there was a third person in the apartment with them. I have a confession to make. Before he told me I knew about the affair, I knew that Carl was sleeping with someone else. So you lied to us? I panicked in the moment. And yes, I lied. I'm sorry. Well, now's not the time to hold back if there's anything else. 
Beth was also here at my house. I invited her over in the guise of being one of her clients. Yeah, we know. We discovered your number on her phone. I swear to you, I never thought any of this would happen. I, I only did this because I was advised to by the woman I hired. What, a, a PI? Not exactly. She's called a mistress hunter. Her job is to break them up and gather evidence for my divorce. My friend Valerie, the one that's supposed to be here, told me about her. We're gonna need numbers and addresses for them, of course. I can get you Valerie's number and Hannah's address is on a piece of paper around here somewhere. Am I gonna need a lawyer? Not if you continue to cooperate. And you don't lie to us again. I won't. I won't. Hey, where are you? Sorry, running behind. Is everything okay? No, everything's not okay. The police just left. They came back? They think I did it, Val. I, I thought they said it was a murder-suicide. Well, now they're saying there's evidence that someone else was in the apartment. That someone else killed them. Oh my god, that's... that's horrible. So there's evidence pointing to you? No, oh, they weren't that specific. When do you think you can be here? I have to go to the coroner's office to fill out some paperwork. I was just hoping you could watch over Michaela. Yeah, I... I thought I'd... there sooner. But uh, um, I gotta go home. And then I'll... There, but I'll be right... Val, I'm, I'm losing you. Val? Hey, honey. I know you're sad. I'm sad, too. But I'm gonna need you to do me a favor. I have an errand to run. And if Aunt Valerie were here, I would have her watch you, but she's not. And Aunt Melanie's out of town, so... I'm gonna need you to come with me. Do you think you can do that? Okay, let's get you changed. This is the place? This is the address you gave us. I'm telling you. Right now she's back at her house, she's packing up her kid and they're fleeing. Some business. She said the office was in the back to the left. We need to see if anyone's rented this place in the last few months. Yeah. You can go with that wild goose chase if you want. I'm putting this on the wife. She's lied to us now for a second time. Getting a car on her right now. Stop by and check on Aunt Valerie first, okay? You want to ring the bell? Yeah. Stay close. Valerie? Valerie? <gasps> All right, we have to leave. Ah! It's okay. What happened? There's blood in there. Get them out of here.
It's okay. It's okay. Send CSI to the home of Valerie Sanders. CSI's en route. So, what were you doing here? I hadn't heard from Valerie, and I was worried about her. Is she in there? No. Just a lot of blood. Step out of the car, please. Mommy has to talk to the officers. I'll just be a minute. Do you have any idea where she might be? No. Did you talk to Hannah? She wasn't there. What do you mean? You sent us to an empty warehouse. No, no. Did you go inside and around the corner like I said? Yes, ma'am. There was nothing. No sign of any business. And we check with the owners? They haven't had a renter in months. That doesn't make any sense. I'm going to need protection from Michaela and me. You're going to need protection. This has to be the Mistress Hunter. She has to be the third person in the apartment. And if she came after Valerie, she could be coming after me. I can identify her. Oh my god, or she could be coming after Michaela. She saw her with me in the park. That's a theory. Here's another theory. Maybe you didn't hire this Mistress Hunter to get revenge for you. Maybe you did it yourself. <laughs> what? Yeah, maybe your friend here knew what you did and that was a problem for you. That's not what happened. I would never hurt anyone, especially my best friend. And even if I did, why would I ever come back here, especially with my daughter? You have a lot to lose. Maybe you left something behind. That would be worth the risk. You have to stay mother to that beautiful little girl who's already lost one parent. I need to talk to a lawyer. I thought you wanted to cooperate with us. Whatever cooperation I do will be in the presence of a lawyer. Okay. They're gonna be watching your every move. Too easy now. You have such a beautiful home. If you're gonna kill me, just kill me. But I ask you, I beg you, leave Michaela alone. I'm not gonna hurt her or you. You know, I really do hate these things. But I find it a necessity in this line of work. It's the only thing that's allowing me to give you my message. That you'd have to break into my house in the middle of the night to tell me at gunpoint? Yes, I had nothing to do with your husband's murder. Says the gun wielder. Necessity, I already told you that. Keep up. None of this was part of the plan. You think I want you telling the police about me? I had a really great setup at that warehouse. And then when things went bad, you killed them. No, dear. I relish in making cheetahs sweat, squirm, and regret their actions, not kill them. You need to understand that I'm breaking my protocol by being here. I mean, this is a risk, a big risk. I should have just disappeared. So why didn't you? There's something you need to know. Carl had other mistresses. I got the info off Carl's computer and other credit cards. As you see, he's quite the serial philanderer. Go ahead. I shouldn't be hating him right now. I should be mourning him. But this is going to save you. Save me? 
Every woman in that folder is another suspect in their murders. Another lead the police will follow up on instead of focusing their efforts on you. Or giving them more material for motive against me. Oh my god. Valerie? This can't be true. They were together. She had to have been the one then to do this right. Or it's another one of those women who's jealous and has decided to take out anyone who ever did anything with your husband. I told you, this can be a messy business. I have to find her. If there's anything left to find. Maybe we can look into this together. I run a one-woman show. Wait, are you kidding me? I've been doing half the snooping for you, and now that I am drowning in all of this, you're not going to help me get out? You got yourself into this. I tried to warn you, remember? I'm a romantic at heart. I always prefer the happy ending. You'll be fine. Just give this to the police and let them do their job. Hey, hey. What's that? Rogers and Williams are going to want to look at this. Ma'am, I can't take that. You'll have to hand it over to the detectives yourself. Uh, I just got this from a woman that just broke into my house. Someone just broke in your house? Yes. Is she still in there? No. I tell you what, I'll give them a call in the morning, all right? I have a feeling they're going to want to talk to you. <laughs> So, what is this evidence? That's it, right there. Hannah, the mistress hunter, brought it to me last night. She broke into my house, actually. A great protection you have for me, by the way. They were never here for protection. That's the evidence of my husband's double life. Other credit card statements, multiple mistresses, etc., etc. Maybe one of them did it. Oh, and the coup de grace, my friend Valerie? She was one of his mistresses. I think maybe she was behind this from the beginning. She's the one that pushed me to meet the Mistress Hunter. <laughs> this is a joke. No. No, wait. This can't be. Well, that, that can't be the... This is the wrong one. It has to be... Mrs. Blanchard. Mrs. Blanchard. We know what you're trying to do. It's not going to work. I'm not trying to do anything except prove to you that I didn't do this, and that's the truth. You're only making this worse for yourself. First you say it's this mistress hunter. Now you're saying you don't think it's her because she magically showed up in the middle of the night to give you evidence. Which isn't here, by the way. It was here. And if your men had taken it when I tried to give it to them... Yeah, and now you're telling us that a good friend, a woman who is missing and presumed dead, was also having an affair with your murdered husband. You know what? I think maybe it's time for you and your lawyer to come down for a formal interview. Let's get a search warrant. I feel like I have a pretty good poker face. You can't just let him get away with this. When the Orsons dropped out of the Miranda property, you think I just shrugged my shoulders and said, oh well? No, I went after them. That is a real estate deal. Yes, and this is more personal. This is more personal. Well, I'm sorry about everything. You were right about all of this. I wish I had listened to you. 
it's okay, honey. I know you're not capable of any of this. And I'm sorry I've been out of town the past couple of days. You know I would have been there for you. I know. Listen, can you come over, like, now? Sure. Whatever you need. Just park on the street. Down from the house. Come through the backyard. And I'm gonna need to borrow your car. Are we moving? No, why? Oh, I'm just looking for something. Something to do with Dad? No, something to do with Aunt Valerie. Hey, Bug. Is she going to help you look for Aunt Valerie? I'll explain. Why don't you go up to your room and Aunt Melanie will be up there in a few minutes, okay? Okay. I think Valerie did all of this. She carried on with Carl behind my back and then once he dumped her for this other woman, she had me track her down with the mistress hunter. She killed them and framed me for it. She even broke into my house and stole evidence. I know this sounds crazy. No, it actually makes sense. I mean, there were signs. She hinted she was seeing someone, that he'd broken her heart, but it was always so vague. I certainly never knew it was Carl. I'm happy to go to the police and tell them. No, they would never believe you, not with everything they have on me. So what do you want to do? I think she's hiding out at one of her vacant properties. Uh, yeah, but that could be anywhere. I mean, brokers have keys to any property on the market. Do you remember that Miranda mansion? It was way out there in Acton. She talked about that listing a lot. I was trying to find the address. Start driving. I'll track it down and call you. Thanks. I'm so sorry. Now's not the time for that. You do what you need to do, but promise me, if you find her, you'll keep your distance. Don't be a hero. Call the police. Okay. Michaela, I love you. I love you too. Listen to your Aunt Melanie. Can I come down and play? Of course you can, honey. It's official, Williams. It just came through. Thanks. Got it. Judge Wilson just signed the search warrant for the Blanche residence. The address is 2310 Red Rover Road, Acton. Thanks, Melanie. I spy with my little eyes something amber. I'll be right back. Can I help you? Who are you? Melanie, family friend, and you are? Detective Williams, where's Mrs. Blancher? She had some errands. She's not here? No. Her car is in the drive and she didn't come out the front. I'm sorry, what's all this about? Warrant to search the premises. I'll ask you to stay in the living room and stay seated, please. Thank you. Let's do this, gentlemen.
police are here. They're searching the whole house. Okay. Williams! Yeah. Got her. There's someone who wants to talk to you. Hello. Valerie's alive. She's hiding out of the house in Acton. 2310 Red Rover Road. I'm here now. <gasps> Is she there with you? Stop! Mrs. Blanchard. Jackie! Call the sheriff and act and tell him to meet us at 2310 Red Rover Road. Damn it! You're not supposed to be here! No, 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 no. Who are you talking to? The police. Liar. What does Melanie know? What did you tell her? She knows I was looking into your old properties, but not which one. Well, too bad. Did you hate me that much? No, I loved him that much. It wasn't easy to accept, but you can't control who you love. And when he broke up with me, and I tried to accept that he had chosen family over love. But then I found out about Beth. So you set me up with the Mistress Hunter to track her down? Did you plan on killing them the whole time? No. I just wanted them broken up. But then you, then when you showed me that necklace, he bought her. Carl never did anything like that for me. I couldn't let him love someone like that. Leave me for someone like her. So I decided to punish him. Make it look like a murder. Blame it on Beth. But Beth got there too early, so I had to kill her, too. Oh, I thought I got away with it. So you framed me? Your best friend to save your own ass? I had no other choice. What about the blood in the apartment? And on your arm, did you do that, too? Minor cost in all this ugly business, I guess. People are gonna find out. People are gonna know the truth. But I'll be gone. I'm begging you. Please don't do this to Michaela. Please. You're her Aunt Valerie. Don't worry. Maybe from time to time I'll check in on little Michaela. I was talking to the police. They were at my house. Melanie was there too. It's over. It's over! No. You attacked me at my house when you found out about the affair with Carl. I, I barely got away with my life. I went into hiding. I, I was just waiting until it was safe until you were arrested. And, 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 and now you came back to finish the job. I mean, look at you. You're a murderer standing there pointing that gun. No one's going to believe you. There's evidence. Phone calls between you and Carl. Oh, he was harassing me. You married a real jerk. I did everything I could to keep him away from me. Do you want to know the sick part about all of this? You played aunt to my eight-year-old daughter while you were running off to some hotel sleeping with her father. What kind of a person does that? I'll tell you, a weak woman who is trying to justify all of this because she did it out of love? You don't even know what love is because he never loved you. You are so pathetic. You can't even realize that. You're right. It's over. No! no. Valerie, don't! Don't do it! Valerie, no, please! Drop the gun! Now! Valerie, do what he says. Drop the gun! No, 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 don't do it, please. Please think of Michaela. Don't do this, please. Oh, my God! Call an ambulance.
They grow up fast, don't they? You have got to stop doing that. Sorry. Have it. What brings you by? I wanted to apologize for all the trouble. I should have made the connection about Valerie before you were ever put in any danger. I've been taking on too much. Business is good, but the demands is just too much for a one-woman operation. Sounds to me like you could use a partner. I was hoping you'd say that. What, me? Oh, come on. Why not? You've got all the skills now. You could really help women out. And maybe, just maybe, we don't give them an option one. We take on clients who are only interested in saving their marriages. I couldn't. I have Michaela to worry about. I'm a mother of three. And I bet your name isn't Hannah, either. It isn't. But I'm happily married. Husband number two. It all works out. You'll see. Here's my number. My real number. Call me. We can talk some more.